the removal of a statue of Jesus Christ from a hill in the Devanahalli taluk near Bengaluru in Karnataka has hurt the Christian community in the state. The Archbishop of Bengaluru, the Most Reverend Peter Machado, actually described it as a desecration. Joining us, the Archbishop himself, you did release a very strongly worded statement expressing your hurt over what had happened. Yes, ma'am. We are very much hurt. And I'm sorry that this could have happened in Bangalore, a city known for its civilization, people who are educated, and people who are peace-loving in this place in Bangalore. That the police and the revenue authorities should have just uprooted a statue just like a, a piece of cement by crane. And of course they brought it to us. But it was a very sad moment for us that they could have done it with such, I would say, as if nothing happened. You know, it's a very, it was a very tense moment for us that at that particular moment I was getting phone calls from all sides that the statue was being uprooted, our Christians were not allowed to go on top and the people from, many people from Bangalore, the Christians were phoning up to me, shall we go and do something about it? And I know what they're going to do, they're going to protest, they're going to make problem. I had to calm them and say that please do not, this is not our style, this is not our way that we function, please keep, keep peace we will see what can be done. And this is how it was over. I would have been very happy if they had taken us into confidence, told us what they are doing, what are the alternatives for us. We got to just to walk into a cemetery, you know, for us Christians, the cemetery or the burial ground is the next to the church, next to our uh, uh, place of worship. The cemetery is the holiest place for us. We don't even walk just like that. We join our hands and sometimes with devotion we walk into the cemetery because we believe that these are friends who are buried, are there, they are persons. Even they are dead, they are with us, we say that. So that is why I was very sorry that the government did this for us. There was no notice given, no advance warning, they did not tell you at all that this would happen? No. I was told that there was a meeting called by the revenue officials and the police authorities a few days before this, but in the meeting the villagers unanimously said they have no difficulty at all. We have been living here, we know that there's such a place exists, and the people have been going about, we have no problem at all. It's the outsiders who have come, and they are zealous about it, and uh, the, you know, the excuse was uh, that conversions are going on, this bogey of conversions, it disturbs me a lot, disturbs me a lot. You think it's conversion is so easily to fool the people to say that this is the statue, therefore all come here and all get converted. I can't understand and therefore it was there, there was no notice given to us. At least courtesy they could have given us a, this notice to say that on such and such a day we are going to do it, we are prepared for it. Instead I was told that in that meeting it was said that they would allow us to go till our Good Friday which is a okay. holy day which was a sensible thing at least till that time we would have got a time to ask the government what should we do for about it. It's a very important time of year. This is a very important time for us. You know what is Good Friday for us? Well, how we carry the cross, how we sort of, we have this feeling that we share the sufferings, death and resurrection of Jesus in our life. And that is the moment that the statue is removed. It's as good as you are thinking of something great to happen and you are brought down to the ground to say that this is nothing for you. It's just a statue that is to be removed and transport it with a vehicle and bring it and keep it in the church. There are some people who told me, don't take it to the church, let the police also keep it. I said, no, that will not be a decent thing on my part to do. Because the police also are obeying authorities, some authorities perhaps which they have received, some authority which they have received to say that they can do this. Our documents are clear. Of course, there is the main document which says the DC has given us the land for purpose, community purpose, yeah. Sarvajanika. Yeah. But we have also another document from the village authorities to say that they, all the other communities have a cemetery. Yeah the burial grounds, 
or the cremation grounds and the Christian community does not have it and therefore Christian community is benefited or rather graced with this which they can use for their community. We have a document. Because that is what when we spoke to the revenue, when we spoke to the DC, when we spoke to the Thasilda, they were saying it was done because the land was for general use, not just for the use of the Christians. They say this is why they did it. If it was a general use, uh, can the Christians also bury there? And we are buried there. At least for that sake, they should have had the courtesy to say that, okay, it's for the general, also for the Christians. And the Christians' grounds are there, burial grounds is there, the graves are there. And therefore, the statue which our people have their devotion to keep a statue of Jesus, statue of the angels, statue of the... These are all sentiments of the people. You can't just shake them and say them they are nothing. The Hindu Jagaran Vedike has said that it was done because they gave a statement saying that they would protest if it was not done by the 28th and that it was done because they said that and that they had filed a petition, they had a PIL and they'd approached the DC and they say that is why it was done. They are taking, if I could use the term, credit for the action. Have we come down to this level of mobocracy that a mob comes and tells you what to do and how to do and without going into the background and the the things that are behind. Is that someone who comes from somewhere and dictates to the government to do this? Is not it the duty of the government also to check the antecedents of this group that is coming? At the same time, our own background. If we have really done something wrong, surely tell us. But the documents are there. You don't want to see them. You don't even want to ask us. You don't even want to consult to see that what can be done, how we can bring up a solution for this problem. I feel that uh, this is not the way things have to be done. If suppose a group of ours goes to the government and asks for something, will they just grant it in that way? You know, I have a lurking fear within me. Our chief minister, Mr. Edirapa, is a gentleman. He has been very favourable towards Christians, as you know, that he has, even in this budget, he has given us 200 crores for the use of the community and the churches and the cemeteries, etc. But he should have a control also over these fringe groups that are there, which are bringing him a lot of discredit. I have a fear, you know, last time when the chief minister was in power, 2008, when he came to power, many of our churches were uh, disturbed and uh, they had uh, done desecration for many of our churches. Now that the second time he has come and uh, these statues are being sort of affected and removed, where will it go? Should I expect something more than this, what has happened now? You know, a place called uh, in Mandia, there's a hospital of ours uh, which is rendering so much service to so many people and so many people are taking medicines and healing there. And perhaps there was a small incident, it seems someone gave a book or a pamphlet, I do not know, to somebody mm. regarding to say that, uh, come to this prayer or come mm. to whatever it is, maybe a Christian prayer, whatever it was. But they have raised a big bogey to say that we want to convert all the patients of the hospital. <laughs> is it so simple as that? On the other hand, there's no one, there's no sense of gratitude that we have been running in a hospital for the poor and running almost better than a government hospital. We are with the government to help this, to do this. Even in our educational system, we want to educate the children so that they can be real patriotic citizens of this country. Because we believe in our motherland and we believe in this country and we want to be honest and good citizens of this country. We would like to be with the government, be part of the government missionary in order to help them as much as possible. This comes soon after an incident in Ramnagar Taluk, where there were objections raised to a giant statue of Jesus Christ that was being planned there. Do you see this as part of a larger pattern or as two isolated incidents? Ma'am, I'm scared, I said. Within a few weeks of that, this has come. And surely my fear is they may not stop at this. They may go to find some more statues and some more places where perhaps, I do not know, we may have planted a statue or this one. But this is not the, this one like that. Every community would like to have a place of worship, a place of this one. It tell us decently if you don't want it, the particular statue, not particular, come and tell to us, dialogue with us. We will try to help you. But then, if this is the trend, I'm scared that they may not stop at this. And for that, 
I joined my hands and asked the government to be of help to us, to be of service to us, to control these groups, to make them understand that ultimately the things are made better with love and harmony than with violence and with uh, confusion. What is the message in this for minorities in the country? Do you feel there is a sense of insecurity? Do you feel... How do you feel? I do not want to put it that way. We minority, the government so far has given us good patronage. And we would like also to give back to the government that homage and respect and also be responsible. I would not want to say that the minorities are in danger. It's not yet. But if the trend continues and if the government at the centre and in the state is not able to control these elements, perhaps a day may come when we have to fear. What happens next? You did say that you were able to control people who wanted to go there maybe to protest on the ground. What steps are the church taking? Are you planning legal action? What, what steps would you do next? Ma'am, I don't think the authorities can help us because they have done this unilaterally mm. and I don't think my going back to them may be of any hope because I will be satisfied only when the government puts back the statue in the place. That is what you want. That, that is, is what okay. is what I want. As regards legal remedies, perhaps if nothing works, we'll have to go to that. And we have faith in the, the judicial system of this country where the judges have mostly sort of been impartial and seen the doc they will see the documents, they will see the situation, they will see the condition, they will see also our intention and perhaps favor us with a favorable judgment to have that place once again back in the position of the statue. Are you hopeful of a dialogue? Would you welcome a dialogue with the authorities, with the chief minister, with the government? I am prepared for it. I am prepared for it. And especially if it helps, I'm, I would be the first one to be ready for dialogue. If we, can, in any way we can help. Even in this case, if the government had told us that this is not a place for you, we will give you another place. We could go to another. That's one. I would have considered it. Perhaps we, I could have uh, convinced our people let us move our statue there and this one. But without any this one to tread into our cemetery, you know, that itself is a, a reason of desecration for us. Because as I said, the graves are a holy place for us. That so many people could go, the crane could go and remove it as if it is a, if it's a small or this thing like that. It's not the way that things to be done in that way. I wish yeah, the better sense will prevail also in the authorities who have to do a duty. Yeah. But we have to do a duty, but then they have to also be conscious of what they are doing because the situation is very sensitive. Deep, the emotional issue, really. It's a very emotional issue. You know, religion, the matter of uh, faith, these are matters that you just don't uh, play with. Yeah. Thank you very much there. The Archbishop of Bengaluru wanting the statue of Jesus Christ replaced in its position fearful that things could get worse if matters like this are not really nipped in the bud, hopeful of some resolution soon. With GM Kumar, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.